this is the boat I'm building. It's a leader class destroyer from that has never been built yet from the Russian Navy. So it's a plan that's never happened. And it's a composite hull. So for the more complicated parts, I'm 3D printing them. So here is a piece of hardwood that's about an inch wide. And within it, I have pieces of plywood sitting here, 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 to give the curvature to the hull. I was able to make them by tracing the shape of my 3D model on the screen of the computer. This model has been made on the computer first, so I could tell exactly what dimensions it would have. And I was able to buy this plywood. It's called flexible plywood, and it has two layers. So one is a hardwood and one is a softwood. I can almost press my finger into it. And it'll bend only one direction. So this is a scrap because I cut it the wrong way. But it allows, it has a lot of flex. So I was able to take the shape of the bulkheads. And it's quite impressive. It was able to flex all the way around every bulkhead. There was a little bit too much flex for the finishing. So here I added, I got what's called Lawan plywood from Lowe's or Home Depot again. It's five millimeters thick. And that's the plywood that's here. So it's a little bit more solid. It's about a quarter inch, but it allows things to hold together. So I made extra bulkheads to fit between that I hadn't really planned before. To finish the model, I had to coat it with some plastic wood. I chose, there's two options. I could have used Bondo, which is an automobile repair solution, but I chose plastic wood even though it's not water resistant because it's more flexible. And since wood is likely to bend, Bondo is very hard because it's made to adhere to metal. So this will give a little bit of flex to the panels as they move around. This is the stern end. I have been missing filament and Amazon took about three weeks to deliver some filament that I've been eagerly awaiting. So I'm currently printing the bow. It's going to be in six pieces. And one of the first parts is printing there. I wanted to be able to control the throttle on both sides of the boat independently so that one motor would go faster than the other and I can do a static turn. Also, I wanted to be able to have some LEDs so that when the boat moves forward, I can change the LEDs to navigation lights. And then when it stops, I can change them to anchor lights. Basically, my connection has two motors for motors on both sides. And then I am intercepting the signal for the throttle input and for the rudder input. And then I can custom mix those together to make one throttle faster than the other one. So if, to demonstrate that, if I move my throttle forward, you'll see that the lights change color. And then it's, the lights will change back to a static state after a few seconds when I move the throttle back down. And then after a longer period of time, we'll just have the little red light, which will be the not under command light. Now, hopefully, if I plug in these motors, I should be able to turn them on. And then both motors will be run. They are not being run directly from the radio as usual. They're being run as signals from the Arduino.